In this video, we bypass the Mac login screen, heading directly to our desktop. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. At the start of every macOS session, we are met with the traditional login screen, where we enter our password and wait for it to be processed, before arriving at the desktop. We would prefer to be automatically logged in, retaining the benefits of network access without requiring input from us. There are obvious security considerations before pursuing this project. This is far more suited to a desktop than a laptop, with the portability of the latter adding extra risk. You need to ensure that only you, or those in your circle of trust, have physical access to the machine. You need to be aware of the consequences of the machine being subject to any form of unauthorised access. With these risks duly noted, we continue. If you're interested in undertaking a similar setup for Windows, you'll need our NetPL Wiz tutorial, linked in the written description accompanying this video. Also, be sure to check out our back catalogue of tutorials, and subscribe to see our future content. Now that we've logged into our Mac desktop, we head to System Preferences. Your System Preferences dialog may well differ from ours, and this is the virtual machine created in our previous tutorial, again linked in the written description. Although we're running Catalina in this example, this can be achieved in all recent versions of macOS. We select Users and Groups. The Users and Groups dialog appears, and we click the padlock icon to enable editing. Clicking the padlock triggers a further password request, and we therefore enter our password again, before clicking Unlock. All editable options are now unlocked, and we click Login Options. With our login options displayed, we click the drop down next to automatic login, where we select the user account which we'll use for automatic login. In this instance, we click the only login available, namely our TFF account. We need to enter the password for that account, which in our case is the same password we've used throughout the tutorial. With the password entered, we click OK. We now simply click the padlock to prevent further changes, and with the options relocked, we can close the window. We can now restart the machine to test the automatic login. Once the machine restarts, our password is entered in the background and processed invisibly, and we are returned to the desktop with full access to our account and network resources. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.